peace and consolation. Our verse today is taken from the gospel according to Matthew chapter 22 verse 14. For many are called but few are chosen. Our verse falls in the parable of the wedding celebration as presented in Matthew chapter 22 verses 1 to 14. This parable, like the two which precede it, speaks of people who do not live up to the expectation and so lose their place of privilege to be replaced by a more surprising group, the first and last, and the last first. This epigram in verse 14 sums up the message of this parable, and indeed also of the two which precede it. It picks up the language of the parable. The first group of guests had all been invited, that is verses 3, 4, and 8. But that did not mean that they would enjoy the feast. So in their place, others have been invited, that is verse 9. But now even one of them has failed to make the grade. Who then are the chosen? The term will recur in chapter 24, verse 22, and then verse 24, to designate God's true people, threatened but protected through the time of trial. And in 24, verse 31, for those summoned from all over the world to make up the new people of God after the failure of the old regime. It is a term with strongly ideological overtones, deriving from the Old Testament concept of Israel as God's chosen people. But it, its use here, and in, verse, in chapter 24, verse 31, introduces a radically new element to that ideological concept. The true chosen people is not automatically identified with those who belong to the Israelite community, not even those who are its official leaders. These are the invited but not necessarily the chosen. The many and the few speak of a weeding process whereby many of those invited will not make it to the feast. The chosen are the new tenants who will produce the fruit, who, as seen in the last parable, may be Jewish or Gentile. Their chosenness does not depend on their racial origin, but on their response to God's summons and their readiness to give God his due. If we have responded to the call of becoming true Christians, it is only because God has first been at work in us to turn us to himself in Christ. Therefore, we are reminded that believing requires choices, radical changes, the disposal of what is old and dirty, to make room for a new decision. Ours is to collaborate with God through our words, actions, and even, and even attitudes that embrace Christian values as taught to us by Christ. Let us pray. Lord God, we thank, we thank you and praise you for the many ways you blessed us and brought us close to you in our lives. We humbly ask you to grant us the grace of true conversion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. For many are called, but few are chosen. Have a nice day.